into guessing where Hastings is, but I got all my places wrong yesterday, so all I shall say is now play days. Peggy Patch is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? Peggy's got off the bus and she's stopped in a place that's in the town, but actually looks like it's in the country. It's a place with wide open spaces and lots of long grass with creepy crawlies running around. And there's lots of stables and pens here too which are full of animals that you normally find on a farm. Peggy's at a nature centre today. That's a place where they've collected lots of different animals and children can come and look at them and learn all about them. And that's Ebony. I think he's gone off to find his breakfast. Peggy's going to have a look round. Do you want to come and join her? Five, six, no, five. <laughs> How many can you see, Peggy? Some of the creatures that live here come from foreign countries. And these are called chipmunks. They look a bit like squirrels, and some people say they're called ground squirrels. They move very fast and they live under the ground. You see in the corner there? You see the tunnel? That's where they live, under the ground. And some of the creatures that are brought here are real and they need looking after. You see the duck in the corner? You see how its bill's all squashed up? Well, it was born like that and when it was little, its brothers and sisters wouldn't let it get any food. So they brought it here and now they make sure he gets some. <laughs> Looks like they're quite thirsty today. Oh, look, over there. There's some more creatures you might know about. So we can have a look. and a cockerel. These hens are the females and they lay lots of eggs. And the one in the middle there, the big one with the red thing on his head, that's the cockerel. He's the male and he makes the cock-a-doodle-doo noise you hear first thing in the morning. And most of the hens are kept because they lay the eggs and if there's too many cockerels then they're just eaten. And this is where they spend the night, in a cage. They have to stay in the cage, all locked up safe and sound, because there's other creatures who'd like to eat them. And you see this dent in the wire? This is where the fox sat last night. And he watched the hens and the cockerel thinking about his dinner. But because the cage is so strong, he couldn't get in. And the hens and the cockerel were safe and sound. Someone else's turn to be let out now. Three geese and a male goose called a gander. Goosey, goosey, gander, with a shall I wonder. Peggy Patch has found another creature to say hello to. Say hello to this creature. A creature with black, shiny feathers, a fanned out tail, who has a funny face, 
with a red wattle over his head. He's a turkey. Out they come. Come on, there you come. Come on. The first three are female turkeys. And here's the male at the back. Looks quite funny, doesn't he? You see the black things on his head? Look like eyes. Well, those are his ears, and his eyes are just below that. And that funny thing hanging down the front of his face, that's called a wattle. His colour's a bit funny too, isn't it? He's white when he's bored. When he gets a bit excited, he goes really red. And sometimes he's in between, a bit white and a bit red. <coughs> what about the funny noise, eh? You do it too. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. Peggy Patch has a book. A book about a friend. A friend who has adventures. What happens in the end? On Saturday, Sammy watched his big brother Tony and his sisters getting their swimming things ready. I can swim with armbands on. Can I come with you? Sammy asked. The others did not listen. They had to hurry because their friends were waiting for them. I don't care, said Sammy to Teddy. I've got a swimming pool under my bed. It's better than theirs. It's got a lovely slide and a wave machine. You can come with me if you like. The next day was Sunday and all the children went to the park. Can we go and see the rabbits? Sammy asked. But the others wouldn't leave the swings and slides. Stupid swings. Anyway, I've got much better rabbits under my bed, he said as they left the park. The others didn't listen. They were too busy talking. Sammy went on telling himself about his rabbits. They're all different colours, he said, and they let me stroke them. The next day was Monday, and all the children except Sammy were getting ready for school. I've got a secret school under my bed, Sammy told them. They didn't listen because they were late. It's better than your school, he shouted after them. We have sweets and crisps and lemonade at playtime. The next day was Tuesday. Sammy and his mum went to the supermarket. When they got home, mum unpacked the shopping. Can I help you? Sammy asked. Mum didn't listen. She was busy putting food in the fridge. I've got a better trolley, Sammy said. It's got a motor and it zooms along the pavement by itself. On Wednesday, Sammy waited for his sisters, Melissa and Christine, to come home from school. But they went straight into their room to practice handstands. I didn't want to play in your room anyway, said Sammy. I was going to let you play in the castle under my bed. It's got a moat. On Thursday, there was a programme on television about animals that live in the desert. Sammy got bored. Then a tall, proud-looking camel appeared on the screen. I've got one of those under my bed, said Sammy, but it doesn't bite. Do shut up about what's under your bed, said Melissa. I won't, said Sammy. It's not just a camel, actually. It's a whole zoo. It's a secret and you can't come. On Friday, Sammy was playing with his cars when he heard Christine shout, Help! Harry's escaped! Everybody looked for Harry. But hamsters are very small and they can hide in the smallest places. The others looked inside all the cupboards. Sammy looked under the table and the sofa. Have you looked in the bathroom? he asked. Nobody answered. They were all too busy. Sammy went into his bedroom. 
He looked under his bed, but he couldn't see anything because it was dark. He lay on his stomach and wriggled right underneath the bed. Suddenly he felt something soft and warm and furry. Come quickly! I've found Harry! he shouted. I've found him! He's under my bed! Under my bed! No, not the blue one. No, the little one. The box. I don't know what's in there. It's a bit light. Right, it's the same again. You mustn't look. Right. You just put one hand in. I want you to tell me what it feels like first before you tell me what you think it is. All right, OK, so put your hand in then. Don't look. What can you feel? Can you feel anything? You can't feel anything. It's a hamster. It's a hamster. Are you sure? Yeah. You're quite sure? What does it feel like, though? Is it big or small? It feels really, really tiny. Really tiny? You feel really 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 so you think it's a hamster, right? Now you tell, me, you tell me what it feels like, then. Is it hard or soft or big or small? It's really, really tiny. That's really cool. tiny. So what do you think it is, then? Hamster. You think it's a hamster as well, do you? Come on, Michelle, you have a go, then. Yeah. What does it feel like? Is it hard? Is it dark? Is it small? It's small. I think it's a mouse. You think it's a mouse? Yeah. And you think it's a hamster? Yeah, I think yeah. it's a hamster. Should we have a look? It's a hamster. No, it's not a hamster. It's a mouse. No, it's not a mouse Rat. either. It's a gerbil. Gerbil? Yeah, it's a little gerbil. The thing with the gerbil is, you've got to let him run all the time. Oh, look at his little tail. It's good, isn't it? It's really big. <laughs> Cute, isn't he? Oh, I'm putting him away now, put him back to sleep because he's probably going to be Right, you've got to guess him the next one. Have I? Yes. Oh, well, he's going to go and get me the box then, or yeah. shall I get you? Go and get him. Oh, this is a big one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's heavy, isn't it? Uh. Oh. All oh, right, where do I put my hand then? That way. That way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right, OK. So I've got to guess what it is, have I? Yeah, yeah. OK. Right. Oh, it's oh, it's small, isn't it? There's four of them. There's four? You only had one to guess. I've got to guess four, have I? Well, that's one, and he's got... He's got... He's got big ears. Not, not that big, but they're quite big. Mm, I don't they know. Nice and soft. Two. OK, where's it? Oh, oh! Well, that one's fast. That one's moving fast. What one? You gotta guess them. You've gotta guess them, have I? Um, well, I think I think one of them could be a rabbit. Yeah. Yes. Is that a rabbit? Yes. Oh, that's the one with the ears. Is this the one I'm feeling now? That yes. one. Is that the rabbit? Yeah. Okay. And the other ones. Is it a guinea pig? Yeah. Oh, it's a guinea pig. Right, that's two. The There's another two. Is there? All right. Okay. So where, where's the other two then? Where are they? You feel the rabbit and the guinea pig. What's that? Is that the, that the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, is that another guinea pig? Yeah. Oh, so it's no, two guinea pigs. that's the other rabbit. Oh, ah, you told me. So there's two rabbits and there's two guinea pigs. Is that right? Look. No. So have a look, shall we? Oh, look. So we have a look. Should we get them out? Oh, oh. I'm coming. There's What's one. What's that name? One rabbit. One rabbit. Oh, no. Two rabbits. Two rabbits. Two and two quiet guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Okay. There we are, your mates are out here. Oops, there he is. <laughs> there we go. We can shut that up and we put it over here. Look at all that mess. <laughs> Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy Patch has collected a lot of stones. Do you think they're all stones? Not all of the stones was a stone, was it? This one's a tortoise. Only its hard shell made it look like a stone. Tortoises move quite slowly normally because they always carry their house around with them on their backs. 
That way, if they get tired or frightened, they can just pop their heads back inside, all snug, like that. This tortoise is called Cleo, and she's a very lucky tortoise, because if you look, you can see that her shell is all battered and burnt. That's because she had a few adventures while she was away. But when they brought her here, they gave her some medicine, and made her all right, and she's fine now. Shall we see if she wants to go for a walk? When I'm out of bed, then I slowly tread my way. Wherever I go, I go very slow, and it takes me most of the day. It takes me most of the day, she said. Day, she said, it takes me most of the day, for wherever I go, I go very slow, and so I make my way. Pictures of this, pictures of that. I like your pictures, says Peggy Patch. You painted and coloured them even stuck them with glue. I like your pictures, says Peggy. I hope you like doing them too. Perhaps you'd like to try this. You get half a coconut shell in your hand and you've got a tortoise. If you haven't got a coconut shell, you could always use a margarine tub or a butter tub. That'll do just as well. It takes me most of the day, he said. It takes me most of the day. Wherever I go, I go very slow. And so I make my way. Oh. Hello. What are you made of? Oh, we're made of nuts and plasticine. Oh, oh, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. And don't forget the goblin turkey. A creature with shiny black feathers, a fanned out tail, a funny face and a red wattle over its head. <laughs> oh, there's the bus. Peggy Patch, you'll have to leave your friend now, the bus is here. Peggy Patch will be finding another place to play next week. See you there. <laughs>